Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for being here. My name is Andrew, coming to you from the beautiful Carolinas. Today's topic is going to be moving your energy away from the narcissist. Think about that for a minute. Everyone, if you like the content, please like, subscribe, and share. So before I jump in, I wanna give you an illustration. Right there, that's the sun. That is you. You are the beautiful, bright, shining light. You are the energy source. You are the person with all of the abundance and you are the person that the narcissist wanted to capture for a period of time. And they did succeed for the length of that relationship. But you are no longer under the thumb of the narcissist, or at least my hope is you are developing and creating an exit plan to remove, remove yourself from the narcissistic relationship. Either way, you are abundant, you're beautiful, and you are power, powerful. The narcissist needed you. Remember that you did not need the narcissist. You don't need them now you didn't in the past, and you won't in the future. This is how the narcissist had you fall for them. They were wearing a mask, most likely. They were manipulating you. They were having you believe that they were the best person on the planet and that you couldn't live without them. This was all by design. It's how the narcissist sinks their fangs into people. They place people in the devaluation stage. They place people in the trauma bond. They place people where they don't know where they are, and they certainly don't know that there is a way out but you figured it out. You found that needle in a haystack. You realized that the narcissistic relationship was something you had to escape from. You had to get out. Now again, if you were discarded or if you ended it yourself, either way, my heart goes out to you. You were in the most challenging type of relationship known to humankind. And what did the narcissist do when you were in that relationship? They stole your energy. They stole your time. They stole your relationships. They stole your money. They stole some of your health. They stole your network of friends, your support system, your jobs, your hobbies. They stole everything that made you, you. Now what the narcissist really wanted to, you to do, and I'm certain you did it, is you became an extension of them. You placed them high up on the pedestal. You were being the walking apology. In other words, you were apologizing for things that you didn't do because you wanted to keep the peace. You were the unpaid helper. In other words, you were picking up their dry cleaning or filling up their gas tank with gas or cleaning the dishes or taking care of the dogs, etc. You were doing as much as you possibly could. You were the sounding board. That was the person who would regulate the narcissist. It's the person who would tolerate their poor behavior and listen to all their toxicity and endure all the verbal abuse, the physical abuse, the mental abuse, the emotional abuse, the spiritual abuse, and the financial abuse, just to say a couple of those. I believe there are five there, maybe even six. But the narcissist wanted your energy. They wanted you to be trapped in that devaluation stage. They did not want you to look behind the mask. They did not want you to figure out who they were. They did not want you to break the chains of that relationship. They did not want you to heal. They did not want you to figure out that you are that beautiful, bright, shining light that I speak of on the channel and in the community because that's what I am and that's what you are. Maybe you already realize that now. Maybe doors of abundance are opening up for you. I don't say the doors of abundance lightly. The doors of abundance will open up for you as they have for me and so many other people I've helped to get across the bridge to the pinnacle, to the mountaintop of indifference. The doors of abundance that I speak about are when you've healed and you conserve your energy for yourself and you've shortened your network of friends and you've taken stock of all the people that you've surrounded yourself with in the past and you've processed the narcissistic relationship. You've endured sleepless nights. Maybe you gained weight or lost weight. Maybe there were times you couldn't even turn a light switch on. You understood that nobody was going to come knock on your door to save you. You had to do it by yourself. That is one of the challenges, one of the many challenges post-narcissistic relationship because many times we believe that people that we've done things for throughout our lives will be there for us when the chips are down and when we need help. Well, remember, everybody reveals themselves in time and some people have short memories and they won't be there for you even though they probably should be there for you if the relationship ended. Other people will get burned out, which means they can't fathom what the narcissistic abusive cycle is. So they can't stand to watch you in pain and they don't want to be around you. And other people will grab their popcorn and watch your life implode. But again, everybody reveals themselves in time. And when you figured out that nobody was going to be knocking on your door, you had a long road ahead of you. Again, I'm not trying to trigger you. I broke the trauma bond by myself. I did it. If I did it, you can do it. You need to understand that you are that beautiful, bright, shining light that's above my head. That is me. That is you. But the energy that created that sun is the same energy that created you. It's the same energy the narcissist wanted to take from you. Remember, on the planet, there are two different types. There's darkness and there's light. I am light, you are light. The narcissist is a dark energy force. They're, they are a shapeshifter. They change the mask they wear. 
depending upon who they're trying to manipulate and who they're trying to take advantage of. And you did believe in the mask when you're in that relationship. I did too. We no longer believe in the mask of anybody because now we have boundaries. We can now say no, the strongest word in the English language. And we, and we now know that we are the priority, that we come first, second, and third. And now there's no room in our lives for toxicity. There's no room in our lives for a narcissist. There's no room for games. There's no room for the waiting games, the manipulation games, the texting games, the, oh, I forgot, I apologize, the fake, I am sorry games. All those things that the narcissist does, we now can identify the poor behaviors of, from the narcissistic relationship and we apply them to present day. In other words, with people we are entering relationships with. Do their actions match their words? Are they gaslighting us? Are they giving us the silent treatment? Are they ghosting us? Are they trying to triangulate us? We know this now. We know the games of the narcissist. What we do also know is the further we get away from the narcissist in that relationship, the smaller the narcissist becomes. They become not even a blip on the radar. They become a microscopic piece of dirt that is so tiny to see that even the biggest telescope on the planet or microscope can't identify it because the narcissist at one point when you were in that relationship with them, they meant the world to you. You would do anything for them. That's why you were a people pleaser. That's why you were a yes person. That's why you couldn't say no. That's why you were caught up in the narcissistic fog. But once that relationship ended, again, no matter how it ended, my heart goes out to you, and you found the needle in a haystack and you understood that, that all the baggage from that relationship, it's all the baggage of the narcissist. It's got nothing to do with you. And you were manipulated. And you didn't need to go look for help. You needed to dig deep within yourself. Perhaps you even experienced the dark night of the soul. One of the most challenging experiences known to humankind next to the narcissistic relationship. And when I said you didn't need help, I mean many times the narcissist will try to blame you, telling you, go see a therapist, you have problems. Look at yourself, go, go, go have someone check in on you. What the narcissist is doing when they say that usually is they're projecting. They know that they need the help, but they'll never look for it or they'll never get it because they'll manipulate the therapist, etc. But when they were telling you that, and I fell for that too, you look into yourself, you're like, maybe I do have problems. It's not you, it's the narcissist. And they knew this. That's why they were manipulating you. But what I'm sharing, when the narcissist becomes really small, this is when you now begin to shine. Just like when I was mentioning how small the narcissist was, the sun didn't pop through the trees, but it just popped there. Because now we're talking about you. The beautiful, bright, shining light. The energy source that the narcissist looked at and then wanted to capture. Again, they did that for a period of time. But they can no longer do that. Because now you've become awakened and aware, educated and empowered, and you understand how valuable you are, how valuable your time is, how valuable your communication with people is. The narcissist took you for granted. They wanted to manipulate you any which way they possibly could and consume all of your resources. And your resources, again, included your empathy, love, time, energy, money, all these things I'm talking about. But now we don't do that. Now we insulate ourselves and protect ourselves and we use our empathy as a superpower because we become the educated empath what, what that means is we don't just give our empathy to anybody just because they're asking for something. If Just because somebody needs a ride to the airport, we don't drop everything we're doing and do it because that's what we did when we were in the narcissistic relationship. We did things for the narcissist. We never even got a thank you. We put a roof over their head. We were taken advantage of. We raised their kids. We were abused. We did everything we possibly could to make that relationship as stable as possible. But each and every narcissistic relationship not only has an expiration date, but there is no stability in it. And there's a big price for the person who is not the narcissist in these relationships to pay. And that's called healing. Remember, the healing path is where you are and is where most of us have achieved that pinnacle of indifference. We've reached the pinnacle of indifference. We're there. We're waiting for you to get there. There is so much room and so much abundance waiting for you at the pinnacle of indifference. There is room for people who are healing and who have healed. There is no room, and I repeat, no room for a toxic narcissistic person or for anybody who does not want the betterment for other people. The narcissist at their core, they're shallow, they're hollow, they're a bully, they're a coward. That's why they slither away and shape shift onto the new supply. And another one, pro tip for you, side note pro tip, for anybody who the relationship ended recently, and if you believe the narcissist is living their best life with the new supply, just go back in time when you met the narcissist. You thought that you met the best thing. That's what's happening with the new supply. The new supply is not getting any better treatment than you were. They're getting more and more toxicity just like you got. The thing is they're believing in the false narrative of the mask. They're believing in the words of the narcissist and they are probably doing what you did, if not more, for the narcissist and the narcissist is gladly taking whatever they can. But the new supply is being played because the new supply is either a narcissist themselves or a toxic person and they're playing your ex 
or they are a person who didn't get the wisdom yet and they're a recycled person or they are a beautiful bright shining light like you and they had to go through the cycle just like you did just like I did but the the new supply at one point that was you and remember when you were the new supply and you didn't even know what the term was that was not a pleasant place to be because your whole life was about to go on a massive roller coaster ride of emotions you were about to be dipped into the deep end of destruction you were going to enter the cesspool of manipulation and you were going to find yourself a shell of yourself in the future and the narcissist again they were checking the temperature of you and that relationship when you were in it with them and they were waiting for themselves to break that relationship at a pivotal point i.e the discard usually it happens around a holiday your birthday the death of a loved one the uh birth of a fam of a baby the relocation when you relocate halfway around the globe or when you lose your job or get a health concern all these things this is what the narcissist does they want to administer as much damage to people as they possibly can and they did their damage to you and they certainly did their damage to me but now we again we are the beautiful bright shining light this is us we exist and live and thrive up here we are the high vibrational people that the narcissist was looking for and again they did take advantage of us but now they can't any longer because now we have boundaries etc but when your energy when you remove your energy from the narcissist this is a great thing that's when the rumination goes away that's when you're not pining for the narcissist that's not when you're not thinking about them that's when you're not looking at their social media accounts that's when you're not driving by their house that's when you're not looking at friends of the narcissist social media that's when you've actually really slowed your life down you've processed things you understood that that relationship was something that you had to go through there was no other way you journaled you meditated you saw a therapist you cried you had the sleepless nights I mentioned the dark night of the soul perhaps you even had to heal childhood wounds but you did everything you possibly could you read you watched videos and you meditated and then you realized one day that by practicing radical acceptance and understanding that, that relationship there was no other way you had to go through it and it wasn't what you wanted it to be it was what it was and we can't change the past we can't predict the future we need to live in the present moment in the here and the now and that's what the narcissist wants you, doesn't want you to do they don't want you to live in the here and now what the narcissist wants is you to be doing things for them and not living your life the narcissist wants you to keep your life on hold and they want to keep you stuck and trapped and they don't want you ever to break out of the devaluation stage but you did and here you are and now you're getting your cup full and you're either at or reaching the pinnacle of indifference and I mention that so frequently because there are so many people's lives who have been transformed over the years throughout my one-on-one -on -one session work with them now this isn't about me it's to let you know that if you're serious about healing you need to take this as serious as anything you ever have taken you're gonna to have to really really understand that this is gonna take work and there is no magic wand to be waved there's no pill to be taken it will take time it will take a lot of time but in your time you will heal if you're really patient with yourself you're kind with yourself and you understand that the narcissist cannot change they can only get worse over time but you can change and you will change for the betterment when you go no contact you block these people you delete them you remove all flying monkeys and people associated with them if not now when if you can't do that utilize gray rock simply become dull and boring and begin to create an exit plan maybe the exit plan will be implemented when the children graduate high school or university or maybe it's when you finally catch the narcissist uh, not around the house and you can get all your belongings and leave when they're not there who knows what you're gonna do but the exit plan is pivotal it's instrumental it will allow you to become lighter it will it will allow you to leave the narcissist in the past and it will allow you to begin the healing process so why when you were giving all of your energy to the narcissist it was draining you that's why your health took a hit that's why your finances took a hit that's why your network of friends took a hit that's why your hobbies you lost those that's why your immediate family members wouldn't be talking to you because you were under the thumb of the narcissist the narcissist essentially was telling you what to do they were a puppet master controlling your life and they knew it and that's what they're doing right now with the new supply so again don't think the new supply is living their best life they're being manipulated or they are a master manipulator themselves it's just that simple then when your energy when you remove your energy from the narcissist again I'm gonna say this before we close the video you become bigger the narcissist becomes smaller they become teeny weeny itsy bitsy teeny weeny and they just don't matter to you at all and that is a good thing it's such a better thing to not even be thinking about the narcissist or the relationship or any people from that period of time once you've healed because you have better things to do you've already processed things you've journaled you've grown you've advanced you're a whole different person you are in the third version of yourself the strongest most galvanized version known to yourself to, to humankind a place where there is no way the narcissist could ever get to you 
and many people don't even make it there because they don't go through the narcissistic cycle and they don't heal properly, but that's not what you're doing, you're healing. And I'm telling you right now, when you see the world through a different set of eyes and not rose tinted glasses and you now can identify a narcissist in a second and you can identify who you wanna communicate with and equally as important who you don't wanna communicate with, that's a great thing. It's called being in control of your life, conserving your energy for yourself, utilizing your empathy to people or on people that deserve it and not oversharing. Oversharing is a huge thing. That's one of the reasons the narcissist entered the relationship with you because you probably overshared all about yourself. You told them your hopes, dreams, aspirations, goals, what you had done, where you're going, where, where you wanna go, everything about you because you were an open book back then and you didn't know narcissism was prevalent on the planet. Now you're not and now you do. So before I close the video, understand this, your energy is priceless and your time that when you were in that narcissistic relationship, of course you can't get it back, but you can learn and you can take the lifelong learning lessons from that period of time and you can apply them to present day and you can slow your life down, you can heal or you have healed and now you can see the doors of abundance opening up all around you. And when I say the doors of abundance, many of you know what I'm talking about. It is when you can find love again. It's when you rebuild your relationships again that were blown up. It's when you find new friendships. It's when you travel. It's when you can take a class, teach a class, read a book, write a book. It's when you can go do whatever you want, whenever you want, with whomever you want, or you can sleep in till 12 o'clock in the afternoon, or you can stay up till one o'clock in the morning, but you're not thinking about the narcissist. Those days are long over. They've, they've been blocked and they're out of your life. You've healed and now you're doing things in your time. And that is a great thing. When you are living life under your terms and it's narcissistic free, that's the best place on the planet. And I'll tell you right now, if you've gone through the cycle and come through the ashes and risen through the ashes like a phoenix, and you now know how challenging those relationships are and to heal, it takes a lot of time. Now you're in rarefied air. That's where many people strive to get to post narcissistic relationship. And that's where I am. And my hope is that's where you are reaching. Again, before I close the video, notice the sun is coming out. Perfect timing to close the video. This is you. You are the beautiful, bright, shining light. That is a heart. It's for you. It's you. It's me. This is what the narcissist can no longer capture because we are in rarefied air. We've healed or we are well on the healing path. Get the message. So everyone, that's the video. I hope you liked it. I love doing it from the beautiful Carolinas. This is Andrew. Namaste. Have a great afternoon, evening, or morning, no matter where you are on the planet. You are not alone. Remember that. You are not alone. God bless you. I love you all. And play this video and play it a few times because the sun came out during pivotal times, like right now, the closing, and it went in during other times when I was referring to the dark energy force, which is the narcissist. My hope is you're getting the message loud and clear, and you're understanding that you are the beautiful, bright, shining light right above my head, and you are so valuable, precious, and you are rare. You are one of a kind. I love you. God bless you, and I will talk to you tomorrow. All right, you guys, enjoy yourselves, and I hope you liked the video. I loved doing this one so much. I love you guys. Bye.